Hey everybody, my name is Sharon from Dr. Business Builder. Today we're going to be talking about opt-ins. I think opt-ins are really great for your business. It's a good way to increase your email list, your subscriber list. So what are some of the ways that you can do this? Well, you could post on social media. If you wanted a free guide, go here. So you would send them off to a URL, such as a landing page. They would then give you their email and then you would send a thank you page with like a PDF download video. You can also do a mailing list where you would send them out free product. Now, if you're selling skincare, be careful because that could really add up very quickly with free samples and it may not be worth the return on investment. You may not make money, you may lose money and not end up with any more sales. So just think about things. Digital products are a great way to go. Think about it. You could do like a free course. Um, what you could do is either a course on a website and or you could do something like an email list, like an email sequence where every day you drip in a little bit more content. That would be a great way to do, you know, a mini course. What about a PDF? As I mentioned, you can do frequently asked questions. You could do a checklist. There's all sorts of things that you can do. You could do a report. If you're in an, like an industry like finance, reports are a great way to go as far as getting someone's email. What else can you do? videos, right? You can send them off and do an informational video. You can send them to like an enlisted, uh, you know, YouTube video on, on your landing page, a website page. It doesn't really matter. The bottom line is you want to provide quality information. Other things that you can do are an ebook, like a mini ebook is a great way, you know, to get people to sign on. Again, you're providing information. Webinars, I think are probably one of the best way. Why? They allow people to ask questions. Now you may think, oh, I don't want to do webinars. You know, I don't have the time for them. Do a webinar, be present the first few times. And then what you could do is put it on autopilot, just let it play. And then if you have an opportunity, you know, if people have the opportunity to ask questions, which I really do strongly um, suggest that can then be sent to your messenger, whether it's Facebook messenger or a messenger. And what that does is you could be basically anywhere. Just, you know, make sure that you answer those questions as they come up. So you don't physically have to be present for that, you know, half an hour webinar, each of those webinars. But if you're available to then answer those, um, you know, messages, that would be a great thing. So, you know, as far as a chat goes. So these are all ways that you can increase your email list. The other thing that you could do is do a subscriber list. You could do like push notifications on your website or your landing page if they agree. You can send out notifications. It's a way to keep in contact with people. You remember, you want to build relationships. It's all about knowing them, getting to know you and trust you. Another thing that you can do is Facebook Messenger, like a chat box. That's a good way to send people off. They can also subscribe to, you know, give you, give you their email at that point. And another thing would be like a, a bot actually on your website where you can provide information and again, have people sign on for your freebie or your opt-in. Now I work with a platform that has all of these tools. So if you're interested, take a look below. You could do a free trial. If you need any help or guidance, I'm here. I'd be more than happy to answer some questions and I hope you guys have a good day. Now, if you like this video, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up, please. And also subscribe to my channel. I will be seeing you guys on another video. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.